Americans are basically upbeat people. We're an optimistic people. Why are people so pessimistic about manufacturing? Well, those of us in manufacturing know that metrics count. And in this case, metrics is one of, the, one of the problems. Because the popular press equates success in manufacturing with jobs. And on that reality, we have fallen short. In fact, the employment in manufacturing in, in North America or in the United States has dropped in the past 20 years by about 33% to 12 million people. But it's only half the story. The output of manufacturing has grown by 30%. Now, plant managers in the room, output's up 30%. Employment's down 30%. What does that mean? Plant manager? That means productivity. The CEO, it means you're making money. But plant manager, that means productivity. And in fact, there has been a productivity explosion in manufacturing. We, meaning manufacturers, lead the nation in terms of productivity with an average 1.5% per year. Uh, how do I say this? Delta of productivity versus all other non-farm employment. And that improvement in productivity over the past 20 years has translated to an increased standard of living. Our GDP per capita over the last 20 years has doubled based on that productivity improvement that is driven by people in this room. The bottom line, manufacturing is the key to American prosperity. It has been in the past, it is today, and it will be tomorrow. Those of us in this room can, answer, can, can provide a resounding re reply to Tom Friedman and his question of whether America's manufacturers can survive in this flattening global economy. The answer is, you better bet we're making it in America. Our manufacturing industry is playing on a, on a new playing field with a new game plan, and the uh, Industry Week's Best Plants Conference is a great example of how we're winning. American industrialists, on top of that, are leading on a global stage, taking their values to foreign countries, building, expanding our culture, building trust, attracting employees, building relationships with suppliers, and in that process, filling a higher purpose, contributing to the quality of life, the communities we live in, as well as people around, around the world. American manufacturers are to thank for that progress in the global economy.